Hey guys, it's Rena Wells, and I'm here to do your energy check-in. Um, some of you guys have messaged me about what kind of decks that I use, so I'm going to try and do my best to... Um, I usually have all my decks out, out of the boxes, but um, I'm going to let you know what I'm using, and I will do the start. try to do this as best as I can as we continue with the readings. Today I'm going to be using the Mini Tarot, the Lindstrom Tarot Mini. This is made for love. I just got these. They're amazing. Divine Counterparts and Separation. I'm also using Made for Love. Check out her channel. Um, so shout out to her and her emotional uh, cards. I believe it has um, stoic upbringing. It has different aspects of it. I've got the Twin Tarot Oracle that I'm using. I'm sorry if you hear my children. Um, the reason why this reading is late is because I have two teenagers at home who don't want to clean and do chores. So I <laughs> uh, had to like put down some disciplinary action. So um, yeah, I'm going to be using the Starseed uh, Little Oracles by Nari Anastasia, Anastasia, the Island Time Wellness. These are called the Shaman Tarot. Uh, these aren't very popular. I got them at the corner at the New Age store in my town. And the Lightseers Tarot deck. So let's get started. We're going to start with the Divine Masculine Energy. We're going to see where the Divine Masculine is currently residing. Okay. In regards to the Masculine's life. The car and towards karmic energies and then we're going to see divine feminine energy and that will be a wrap so let's start off with these divine counterparts in separation let's see what divine masculine is going through right now towards divine feminine <clears throat> and where the energy is currently at with divine feminine thank you spirit what is going on with the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine for the Collective Spirit for the weekly energy updates? Thank you. Don't forget, you guys, to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. All right, let's take a look at the bottom. We have a yes. A yes to, uh, this isn't the right time for me to reach out, but uh, saying yes to the Divine Feminine that I am on my way right now is not the right time. And oh, we've got the world ending cycles and there is a third party involved. So let's take a look. Let's get a little bit more. What's going on with masculine's mind space towards divine feminine right now? <laughs> Number 53. I want to talk, but I am afraid. What's going on in divine masculine's heart space towards divine feminine for the collective? We have two, so we'll take them. Ending cycles again, you guys can't make that up. Ready to take a chance. So this masculine energy is really ready, understanding uh, that they want to come forward. They're still ending certain things, so it's still a little, you know, crazy. And this masculine here is ready to like do backflips off the cliff. So this masculine is feeling very ready. What is the action? What's divine masculine towards divine feminine? Where is he at this week, Sarah? Oh, look at that. Standing in Divine Masculine. Isn't it funny? I used the lion today, too, with the Divine Masculine energy. Wearing the crown. And notice how, you guys, take a listen to the channel teaching that I just released. It's about masculines being in the dark, being able to be in the dark, but knowing that they have this sun, that they have the energy of create, creator force energy. So that's very beautiful. Uh, let's see the outcome that they desire with Divine Feminine. yes again wow guys beautiful synchronicities um loving that loving 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 that so i'm seeing the divine masculines here really wanting to reach out they know what they desire they are currently waiting in regards to um what i'm feeling is their ending of this cycle before they take this chance so they're really just clearing up the vibration i feel it's that protective measure for of divine masculines that really um know that they need to protect this connection it's a sacred connection that's a gift from god and nothing can come in between there and so whatever they're doing in their life right now it is for moving towards the divine feminine energy so that is really beautiful let's take a look we're going to use the twin uh, tarot. 
these ones right here. These are just basically the major arcana, I believe, but they deal with dark and light. So when you see the purple, it is the, d the dark side of it, the shadow side, and the light is the uh, enlightened side of it. Okay, so let's take a look here. <sighs> so let's see. So the masculines want to come towards Divine Feminine. They want to talk. They are ready, but they are ending cycles. They are ready to take this leap of faith. They are standing very strong in Divine Masculine energy, and they want to say yes. This is really beautiful. What else is going on with Divine Masculine? Can you clarify please, each place? Let's see what else is going on in the mind, because they're saying... I want to talk to you, but I'm afraid. So they're still working out some certain things. And in this card, you can see the Divine Mask is quite far away from that phone booth. He's, he's a little bit ways still to go. Not that far, you know, five minute walk. Not even, but you know, <laughs> it's like they're moving at a snail's pace. But let's take a look here. What is going on with Divine Mask in the mind space? I want to talk to you, but I'm afraid. What is that spirit? Can you please tell us for the collective? Whoa, we've got two. Look at this, the moon and the star in positive motion. So this is really about uh, knowing that they've had to walk through the dark night. They're emerging out of their emotions. They are trusting their intuition. They are following their intuition and they know that this is their wish. They want to heal this with the divine feminine. They see her as the star. They see her as, I'm sorry for the glare guys. It is later at night as I'm doing this. Um, but they see her as this beautiful, you know, goddess here. Um, they know that they have to use their intuition in order to move towards the divine feminine. So that's really beautiful. So they are completely aware. And so we're going to clarify a little bit because we're going to see like exactly why are they afraid. Let's see, they're ending cycles right now, but they're ready to take a chance in their heart space. And look at this, the devil came up. So this is the positive aspect of devil. This means that they... Um, Yes, there are positive aspects to the devil. Everyone's like, what is that? It's an attachment. It could be an obsession, but it's more of a focus, a healthy obsession. Um, Spirit is saying it's not like an addiction kind of thing. We tend to confuse the two between, you know, twin flame obsession is different than like karmic obsession. Um, it's more that we are so strong in ourselves that we know that this is something more because we just can't get rid of it. You wake, you f feel them in the morning, you feel them at night, you like, this is something that just does not go away. So this is that healthy obsession. This is also, you know, um, spirit is bringing up when, you know, the angel of Satan first fell into the earth plane that he became, he fell further into consciousness. This is the first falling of the fallen angels that are here and recognizing that they've been stuck in a dark place and knowing that they can untrap themselves. This devil is very free playing music, being obsessed, but I feel it's a good obsession in ending the cycle to take this chance. It's like they're so focused that that's what they want to do. Okay, they're standing very strong. They're actioning their divine masculine power. I can't tell you, this This energy is kind of hot, guys. I'm like, who is this? I hope it's mine. <laughs> I don't know about that, but whoever this reading is for, damn, you, you, y'all, damn. Okay, this is the hermit. Look at this, all beautiful, positive cards. Going within, this masculine is pulled back, gone within, and is ready to emerge out of the cave holding his lantern, using that moon intuition. Look at this, ending cycles here with the moon. Okay, it's like the circle here using, putting all the dark crap in the old cycle and blowing that bubble away, saying, I don't want you anymore. You're out, using the intuition here with the moon, following the feminine energy, okay? A lot of the night skies are showing up here, guys, even with the emperor in the night sky, but it's showing that they're being lit. Okay, they're saying yes to this connection. They want this with Divine Feminine, you guys. Okay, these masculines are ready. The Hierophant in reverse, so it, they know it's gonna be untraditional. They are ending commitments. They don't want a power struggle. They wanna come in with integrity. Um, they know that this is not a basic traditional connection. This is not a relationship, this is a union, okay? So let's clarify a little bit more. Um, Actually, let's pull these emotional cards first. These are also by Made for Love. The Wounded, sorry, they're called the Wounded Warriors. Sorry, that's the right name for them. The Wounded Warriors by Made for Love. I love her decks. I love her channel. You guys could check her out. I love her. Um, so let's take a look here. 
what is going on where is the masculine emotionally towards the divine feminine in the mind mind space right now spirit paranoid so yeah this is why they're not calling they're a little paranoid i want to talk but i so they're they know this is their wish they're following their intuition but they are a little scared okay in the heart space abandonment issues so they're ending cycles they're going to take this leap of faith but they could also be a little obsessive about their abandonment issues. So there are some little things that are coming out um, in them that they haven't fully quite healed. This is, these are things that they have to take action in order to overcome. Okay, we have the Emperor coming out of Hermit mode. Greed, okay, not wanting to be greedy anymore. Emotional, unavailable parents or guardians. So this is them knowing that they have to come out of this cave of where you know they may have wanted money they may have wanted wealth they may have wanted stature they may have wanted to be seen they wanted whatever status they were seeking in the material world that is coming to an end here this is because they're facing the issues with their emotionally unavailable parents and they're noticing their greed they have to go within to discover why things weren't happening in their life okay it's been a very um destructive disruptive and destructive process is what I'm hearing so they know this isn't going to be traditional they don't want anything traditional they don't know what's good what this connection is what it's going to look like okay avoidant okay they've been avoiding this because of traditional commitments what I'm getting from this masculine is like this masculine really wants to still maintain a level of self okay i feel this masculine may be coming out of a karmic situation that may have been very damaging sorry just checking the camera guys and so they know that they have avoided this they're saying yes even though they've been avoidant so these masculines are very much rising up we're going to clarify with these little uh the lynn strider tarot the minis so let's take a look <clears throat> I'm gonna take a sip of water too. A lot of channeling and stuff today. And yelling at my children. <laughs> I love it. Like teenagers, like I think they can game all day and they use like, you know, 10 cups for like every freaking glass of water that they drink. And then they don't understand why I'm asking them to put it in the dishwasher. Like, walk out of my room and there's like, anyways, just little parental <laughs> things it's like seriously I'm working anyways let's it's like please go back to school I need a break all right love them to death but let's see you don't complain you but you don't complain about your kids you don't spend enough time with them <laughs> that's what I say all right let's take a look here I want to talk to you I'm paranoid as hell um I know that this is a divine connection. I'm using my intuition. So what are they paranoid about, sir? What are the divine masculines paranoid about right now? I love when it falls right on the card. So I feel it's four. This is for the star card specifically. Seven of swords. I want to heal. I want to heal the dishonesty. Okay. I'm afraid that you're going to reject me here. I'm afraid because of all the dishonesty. You know, I'm paranoid about, you know, not being honest. Well, that flipped upside down when I flipped it. It was upright. They are in the emperor mode, okay? Some of them, when I picked it up and it did flip, they're not quite ready. So that's for some. They're not ready to take control of the situation. Some are ready to take control of the situation. So I'll put that sideways. Um, they are. They know that they've been dishonest, but they want to feel and they're using their intuition. What is their intuition telling the masculines towards the divine feminine? To move on to, to peaceful waters with the divine feminine it is a little rough at the beginning it will always be rough but it will soon be calm waters and it won't be dramatic okay yeah eight of wands okay so they're not rushing in they're not communicating yet they're they're having this paranoid effect let's cut let's see if there's um some island of wellness because <clears throat> they're, they're really some of these masks are pretty paranoid let's take a look and I feel it could be also because they're they're closing off a cycle right now and they're dealing with their abandonment issues and they're a little obsessed about it, okay? But they know that they're going to take the chance. So there's a lot of different energies that are playing out, but let's see. This is for Divine Masculine towards Divine Feminine. Why is he paranoid? Why is Masculine Energy paranoid? Because he's still healing his heart, okay? Healing from a heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions, okay? So... 
that's why in the heart space the devil is here so let's take a look at that so they're still healing that's why they're a little paranoid okay and that's i mean we get that right um you also don't want to be um you want them to work out their stuff right you don't want to be um what do they call it uh i reconcile oh my god why can't i think of the word uh when someone breaks up with somebody and then they get together with somebody <laughs> this is when i channel i can't like a rebound a rebound thank you spirit oh my dear lord my brain when i channel okay let's go into the abandonment issues here that they're having with the world of ending cycles. So they're also maybe having trouble closing off cycles because of their abandonment issues. That's why the devil is here. They're a little obsessed, but they know that they have to take this risk, okay? Yeah, they're really trying to follow their high priestess high um, intuition. The first one that came out was the seven of pentacles. They know they can no longer invest in a certain situation. We have the justice in reverse. They know that it's an unjust situation, okay? The high priestess came up upright, so they know that they have to use their intuition and they have to follow their highest calling even though it's unknown to them okay it's unknown and so they have to overcome these abandonment issues see it's conflict that's causing some conflict so this devil energy is acting up a little bit in the obsession they're so focused on this in the hard space yeah but they're coming out of the hermit mode right so the hermit in reverse they are waking up which is this card and the upright in this deck is coming out of the cave okay not going in the cave already coming out of it so this is come these masters are coming out of this they're they know that they have to take this chance what are they how are the masters in regards to the heart of taking this chance judgment in reverse so we have a little bit of doubt still happening and what is their um abandonment issues exactly spirit of closing the cycle <clears throat> the eight of cups in reverse they keep going back to this right because remember when you have abandonment issues it's hard to leave things that you're comfortable in um it's, it's funny i was just having a conversation about this that when you come from abusive homes and abusive toxicity or traumas you are so ingrained in that that it just feels normal like there's almost a sense of peace not that you like it like when your parents argue or when you know there's abuse happening because you're like okay this is just normal you become complacent to it and so when you have to move into something completely healthy completely different completely um there's a doubt that comes up with the mind with the ego because the mind has been conditioned a certain way and this is why these masculines are they know this they understand they have to come out of this this conf they know that it's injustice what is this conflict but they keep returning to it because of that doubt because of the conditioned mind three of wands in the reverse but they know they can't wait on this any longer either so they're not waiting on it okay so here we have the emperor recognizing that he's been greed in, in a place of greed okay um knowing that he had unavailable parents as well okay knowing that he's coming out of this hermit mode what is this um greed here they gain a lot of wisdom so these masculines are rising up yeah moving forward the chariot okay putting an end to the cycle look at this ace of pen they know how unstable it is so logically the masculines are completely aware of their greed they're completely aware of their absent parents the neglect they're completely aware that they have to go within and heal themselves they know that they have to put an end to the instability and moving forward so they're actually they're actioning this right now knight of cups to bring the divine feminine that knight of cups woo let's clarify that a little bit can i have one please yeah look at this the grim reaper they're putting an end okay to certain actions that are unstable in their life can i have one for the emotional um devil here that keeps um getting them to want to hold them back in their heart space spirit can we get one to clarify that yeah see they know the abundance in their heart with the divine feminine so even though they may be having some thoughts, it's dwindling. Those thought patterns are dwindling. The masculine is healing out of that towards divine feminine. They are being avoidant, yes. They know that they want this outcome. Yes, they do, but they don't want something traditional. Let's clarify the tradition, something non-traditional. They are ending a commitment as well, but I feel this is more, yeah. They want to speak their truth and say that they may not be ready for a full head-on connection right away. Queen of Swords. They also know that they're, they're being clear um, communication with the karmic energy is what I'm getting here. Because Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands, that's just how the decks talk to me. Okay, we have Devil in Reverse. So ending toxicity, ending a commitment, ending something traditional, not wanting traditional, communicating this to karmic energies. This is why they're avoidant. Okay, 
clarify this a little bit further. We have the lovers in reverse. So yeah, our relationship has ended, okay? We have the lovers in reverse. And so what are they saying yes to? They're avoiding coming towards, they're saying yes to this awakening. They're saying yes to the tower moment. They're saying yes to everything falling apart. They're done. What is this um, yes? Also spirit with the tower towards divine feminine. Two of cups, you guys. They have awakened to this two of cups, okay? They are completely awakened to the divine feminine. They are king of wands. They are going to action that. Hello, daddy. They are definitely wanting to action that. Fire, passionate. Why are they avoidant, spirit? And I feel they're avoidant because they're really trying to clear up this karmic situation here. And not do something traditional right now, okay? Yeah, they're having a lot of regret. That's why they're avoidant right now. And that has to do with this honesty piece, too, that they knew that they weren't fully honest. Can we have one more card here for masculine towards divine feminine? We have, look, endings brings new beginnings, change, liberation, and transition. So this masculine is saying yes to the divine fem feminine, is working out their stuff. Whoo! really really beautiful guys let's take a look and see what's going on with masculine energy towards the karmic energy now i'm probably going to use the same ones do i have to buy two of everything now <laughs> like is this a thing <laughs> i don't know do i need multiple of the same decks i don't know i don't know is that how tarot readers do it <laughs> oh no i've been a tarot reader most of my life i have no idea all right but let's take a look and see what they're doing towards the karmic energies i'm going to be using the same deck even though these are um divine counterparts and separation i feel like i still need to use them to see how the reaction is towards the karmic energies okay where did this deck go over here okay so let's take a look at that and then we're going to see i'm going to clarify what the bigger oh we'll see we'll see what happens all right let's see what is going on now with divine masculine towards the karmic energies wow, that was beautiful you guys and he's full hard <clears throat> all right what is going on with divine masculine towards the karmic energies please spare what is what are divine masculines in the collective towards the karmic energies in their life. What is going on with divine masculine towards the karmic energies in their life? What is going on with the divine masculine collective spirit towards the karmic energies in their life? We're going to take a look at the bottom of the deck. I'm not ready for what you have to offer. This is what masculine is saying to the karmic. I don't want it. The, I feel these karmics want marriage. They want something traditional. That's what we saw. Um, they're saying, I'm not ready for what you have to offer. They're following their intuition, the high priestess, okay? They know that this is, they that will become a complete impris uh, imprisonment, okay? Um, look at this poor bird going crazy in this cage with all these birds on top, okay? Knowing that this masculine needs balance, okay? He's also saying, I thought there were plenty of more fish in the sea, and this is what he's pulling out of the sea is this monster, you know? And this karmic is like, it's dead inside. So, yeah, yeah. A lot of overall energy. So let's see what else. <clears throat> What's going on with masculine with energy towards the karmic in the mind space? Okay, one. Dead inside came out again, guys. They're dead inside with the karmic, okay? The heart space towards the karmic. The masculine energy, please. They're being divinely guided out of this, okay? Look at this. Torn between two lovers and being divided, divinely, excuse me, divinely guided. Okay, so yeah, in their heart, they have been torn between two lovers, but they also know that they feel dead with this karmic partner, okay? You can get physical stimulus, you know, in their action space. I'm not sure how you feel about me. Um, I feel that is, yeah, they're upset that it is towards the karmic. And it's not in the way that spirit is saying to take it like they're upset. They feel bad. They don't want to hurt people, you know, and they feel bad about how they're being seen as because they have been torn between two lovers. Spirit is saying that this karmic energy is not necessarily like just all bad. There were good times. Could be a marriage. Could be, um, you know, some are going through a divorce. And they want to leave it on good terms, especially if they're going towards the divine feminine. They really want to um, make sure that this is 
you know, kosher. It's good, you know. They don't want to bring toxicity in when the feminine shows up, okay? The outcome for masculine towards the karmic energy. The time isn't right for me to reach out. So they may not be speaking to this karmic energy as well, okay? Let's go a little deeper, guys. <clears throat> Let's use the twin tarot. All right, let's go a little deeper here. Be curious to see what shows up. But they're dead inside with this connection. They know that they've been torn um, between two lovers and now spirit has come in and is acting in their heart space. They don't want to leave things on a bad note, but they also know that they, they're not speaking to this karmic energy either, okay? Could be also for some that they're. this is the reason why they're not reaching out to the uh, to their counterpart, to the Divine Feminine, because it's not the right time yet, okay? Because they're dealing with this, okay? Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we have the chariot in reverse, okay? So it's chaotic, okay? This is like moving and just chaos and, tr and just trying to grasp uh, the reins and keep control of the situation, okay? It's because massive transformation is going on. We have the death card, so this masculine is walking into the light, crossing the bridge, okay? Um, there's a snake here that is shedding its skin. There's a skull here moving from like death into vitality. We also have the Hierophant in reverse, ending commitments, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, okay? Which is also, you know, good fortune and things like that that are, um, you know, not good. <laughs> um, fate, you know, not turning in their favor, a lot of that, streams of bad luck, okay, links of bad luck, let's take a look at dead inside for masculine towards the karmic, please, masculine towards the karmic, and in his mind, knowing that he's dead inside, look at this, the tower in reverse, okay, um, this is, uh, thinking that they're going to delay it, this is what spirit is giving me, um, but, <laughs> when you try to delay it it comes down even harder okay they want me to look at the tower this is funny there's like just look at the tower seriously spirit you're gonna have me do this right now yeah look they told me to look at it i knew it was at the back to look at this it's not as abrupt they want me to show you the two in this deck okay so you can understand when you make your own choices and allow spirit in it's like, okay, yeah, we all fall out. It is hurtful. It's, you know, look at the amount that's fallen here, but look at the amount of destruction that actually happens. You know, they, if they fall into this moat, they can still swim. But here, I mean, this person's going over the cliff, could hit the rocks. Like the fire is more brutal. The roof is like actually come off like on a more of an angle. The whole foundation has cracked. And so spirit wants to show this, that the, the delay of doing this has been much harder. Okay, so they're going through a very abrupt transformation. Torn between two hearts, the masculine towards the karmic energy, please, and how they're being divinely guided. The magician, things were not manifesting in their life working with this karmic energy. You know, you have all the tools, but look at how everything is like just an array. Like he's burning the, the candle at both ends. His hand's going to burn. He's all over the place. The cup is spilt over. The coin looks stuck in the, in the stone. Like it's just... It's just not manifesting, okay? It's more manipulation, trying to manipulate energy. This is why spirit is guiding the masculine out of this connection. I'm not sure how you feel about me. Masculine towards the karmic. Masculine towards the karmic. Yeah, because he's rejecting um, a new beginning, okay? Knowing that they're not, he's not taking a leap of faith with the karmic, okay? Not trying to heal it, not trying to move forward anymore. It's over, it's done. We saw that. With divine feminine energy that they have completely ended things okay and so he's still loyal there's still a dog here like i still want to be your friend like i'm not sure how you feel about me now like i'm trying i feel these masculines are trying to be as honest as they can the time isn't right for me to reach out right now i feel they're not talking to the karmic oh this is towards the empress okay so <laughs> it's just not time this is them. They're feeling the Empress and they're like saying no to the Empress, okay? So it's not the right time. They know that this isn't their Empress as well. They also know this isn't Divine Feminine Energy. And I feel this is the distorted feminine. This is the karmic just saying no. Like I'm not having any beginning either. And the masculine saying the time isn't right, 
okay, for me to reach out. So they're either not talking and they're also saying no to Divine Feminine and they're saying no to Karmic and Karmic is saying no as well. Those are the different situations I'm picking up. So let's take a look and see what is the emotional, the wounded warriors, what is going on and then we're going to clarify as well with the tarot and then with the island time, island time. All right. So if you guys hear my heater, it's cold, so <laughs> I have a heater in my room because my son likes his room cold and there's a vent that attaches the two and I don't know why I'm telling you this, but <laughs> let's take a look here. Um, what is going on here with Divine Masculine towards the Karmic Energy? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with Divine Masculine towards the Karmic Energy? So... Yeah, they were trying to delay this complete fall of the tower, but it became very harsh. Okay, look at this. On the bottom, nothing. There's a card in here that has nothing on it. I have nothing to say about it. I'm blank. I'm numb. That's how I take it. All right. So <laughs> they're dead inside. Spirits like, take it. They're dead inside, okay? Um, can we have another card on this, please? My masculine. Yeah. Self-harm. Okay. I feel that these masculines um aren't self-harming themselves i feel they may be dealing with a karmic that is talking about self-harm because they're highly depressed i feel that they're really just done with the games and they're and this is this tower is coming down really hard and they feel nothing now even if there's something about self-harm we're going to clarify that wow interesting interesting let's take a look at the heart space torn between two lovers things are being manipulated and not manifested and spirit is guiding the masculines out persecution complex okay i feel these are the karmic energies i feel this is what they've been going through these masculines they're going through um they're really going through <sighs> being attacked okay um obsessive type of behavior being attacked being persecuted manipulated okay with this energy and spirit is really trying to guide them out of it not taking a risk, not taking a new leap of faith with the karmic abandonment issues. Look at that. I'm not sure how you feel about me. So they're worried. This is the piece of the codependency, right? We saw that with Divine Feminine. That this is what they still have to heal because, you know, they're afraid of still what people think of them. They're having abandonment issues, closing off the cycle because they don't want to hurt anybody. What a lot of masculines need to realize is that you need to leave it in the hands of God and, <laughs> um, People get what they deserve and what they need. And, and that's not up to a human. That is up to spirit. And so when we follow spirit, we follow spirit fully. And I feel this is the still the, the piece that the masculine is still learning is that they don't want to come off bad. They want to keep it nice and clear. They want to keep the connection still okay. Maybe as friends or because they're still having these abandonment issues of not having this person in their life. Um, whatever the case may be, we're going to clarify. But it's still not aiding um, it's still a little piece that's left that's why they can't come to the feminine right now and the time isn't right for me to reach out either to the feminine and they're not talking to the distorted karmic that's like way too many what is this with the masculine thank you rage look at this rage he's angry with the karmic energy cheating wow okay so this is the distorted this is mostly going as the distorted feminine here, which is the karmic energy pretending to be the feminine, the divine feminine. Like, I'm sorry, you're not. So, um, you know, thinking and like, no, don't talk to me. And look at her face. Oh, woe is me. Don't talk to me. It's so dramatic. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I love how things are so dramatic. Uh, divine feminines, you know, you know, divine feminines that you don't play in those, those things those realms anymore it's like whatever um but karmics do they have to play in the drama they have to play in 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 all of that so this is really here the the <laughs> cheating rage um they feel that they've been cheated on there's a lot of rage and so the masculines have completely just pulled away wow all right guys let's clarify what these little these little suckers wow this energy is fascinating um i feel it's actually showing the divine masculines how distorted this connection was and what these 
karmic energies are really all about and where their level of emotional balance really is because divine feminines um, are pretty close if not have healed the emotional world meaning that they don't engage in energies that are not good to keep you know that that keep them in a, in a low place um, we're really healing that world, you know, and Divine Feminines have been doing amazing work. And um, these distorted feminines here, this is, they're the next realm of Divine. You know, anyone can be a Divine Feminine. It's just where they're at. And this is um, a lot of anger. So I feel like Masculines are trying to keep it together here, okay? Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Masculine towards the karmic energy. We have Six of Cups. So this is like past energy. Revealing the truth to the past about why the masculine's heart has been blocked. Okay, coming out of their healing, which is like coming out of the hermit mode. And um, blocking communication with the karmic energy because they've risen into the divine emperor. Okay. Um, it wasn't healing here. Star in reverse with the karmic energy with the queen of wands in reverse. Okay. So see, they're still having a little bit of doubt here because they're releasing the burden. So, but they're pushing through it. They're pushing through it. Okay. So let's take a look here. What is this masculine energy? What is the self harm and feeling numb and the tower, the self harm of the karmic energy? Can we, this is the karmic energy. What is this karmic? What is the self harm in regards to the karmic? What is the self-harm in regards to the karmic? The hermit in reverse. Regret. Let me just see what this one is. The knight of wands. Oh, this is what I'm getting. The karmic energy is trying to use passion to pull them out of this. Um, the masculines have, you know, pulled back, but they're waking up. They're ready to take action. They're getting close to um, connecting with their divine feminine. This karmic energy definitely feels it and is having a lot of regret coming out of their own cave and trying to passionately ignite something. But, you know, it's like a self-harm thing. Why don't I clarify that a little bit more? It's almost like, you know, how people say, I'm going to just kill myself. I can't handle it. Or I'm too depressed. I can't live without you. I can't do this. It's such a codependent. Like, that is ultimate codependency, you guys. Um, and this, these, some of these masses might be dealing with that. I, I don't know. I have no idea. But it's what the cards say. So we're just reading the cards. So let's see about the self-harm and towards the karmic. What is that about, Spirit? The past. What about the past? With the karmic energy. What is the self-harm? Huh. About the separation. They don't like being in separation. They're looking really back at the past. Okay. Something about the past. Oop, the camera. Um, reminiscing, keepsake, uh, perception from the past, the memories they've made, looking at your photos, missing. So they're in a really dark place, these karmics. I feel, what is the masculine's energy towards the karmic? Actually, let's clarify. What is the masculine's energy towards the self harm, towards the karmic and the tower that's happening? Three of pentacles kind of came out sideways, not working on it, working on it. I feel they feel really bad. What is this with the, what's the masculine towards the karmic in regards to this? Yeah, see, they're trying to offer some kind of like the knight of cups, like offer some love and help and encouragement. But I feel it's um because they're just overly nice. Yeah, because of this love here. So this is why things aren't quite ending with the karmic energies is because, you know, this control factor of the self-harm. So let's clarify that a little bit more. Tell me more about the self-harm. Yeah, Queen of Wands in reverse. She's distorted. She's not getting the passion. She's not getting what you want. She's stuck. This is karmic energy is stuck in the past. In separation, it's a miserable mess. I'm going to hurt myself. The masculines are almost numb to this and allowing the tower to fall. Um, but they're offering love. They're offering some support. But yeah, give me one more on the masculine. And how is the masculine dealing with this karmic energy in regards to the self-harm? Can you give us one specifically for the masculine, please? Yeah, so he's trying to heal his heart from this passion. 
So this is the sex thing. This is the attraction, the beauty, the whatever was keeping them tied is healing his heart from this and the attraction. And this karma cannot handle the separation from the past and what's happened in this relationship and doing anything just to get a little bit of attention. And then it's working. It's working. The masculine's giving a little bit of attention. They're they're in this in-between stage of working, you know, collaborating, ending contracts and not ending it. So that's what's keeping them stuck is this manipulation piece. Let's go. Let's get, look at this. Persecution. So this karmic energy is definitely creating a, a persecution complex being torn between the two and trying to manipulate the heart of the masculine. That's exactly what's happening. What is this with the masculine? Yeah, the masculine knows that justice is going to be served. He's not being fooled, okay? This has happened time and time again. We have two of swords in reverse. He's seeing past the deception now, not taking the risk. We have fool in reverse, fool in reverse here, and knowing that he has to have karmic justice, okay? Understanding what is this torn between two lovers? Let's see. How does masculine feel between being torn between two lovers? The eight of wands. He's not acting on on anything right now. Why is that? Spirit. Not acting on any of it right now. Yeah. Not acting because he wants to act on the empress. So he knows in the heart space certain things are still clearing. And what is he being divinely guided with the empress? What is he being divinely guided to? Queen of cups towards the empress and his feelings towards the empress. Yep, temperance, balance, healing, okay? It kind of came out a little bit like this, so still trying to gain that balance, reconciliation, and alchemy, okay? So really knowing in their heart space, they're very solidified with that towards the feminine. They want justice, and they're not being manipulated by this either, okay? Clarify the masculine towards the karmic energy here in the heart. The snake, knowing that they've been dealing with the snake the whole time. So these masculines are completely aware of their heart, Okay? Yeah, let's see what's going on with their actions towards the karmic. I'm a bit with their abandonment issues, not taking this leap of faith here. And um, I'm not sure how you feel about it. What is this? I don't know how you feel about me. What is that about? Son, they want everyone to be happy. Okay, like this is the thing. These, some of these masters like, I want everyone to be happy in the pain. Illuminated of the pain, feeling the pain of the karmic. Knowing that they're dealing with abandonment issues, okay? So they are investing a little, look, if they're fighting about investing in this, waiting. They're still waiting. They're not taking a leap of faith. They know how hard the abandonment issues are. They know here that, you know, I'm not sure how you feel about me. They don't want to be seen in a bad light. Um, so they're battling this still. Why are they still battling it? So they're, they're trying to make it peaceful. I think it's a little bit overdone, to be honest. Ten of Swords because of the betrayal. Um, you know, and these masculines may have definitely betrayed. Maybe I'm not saying anything about the, the uh, you know, Five of Swords, the conflict, right? Um, about the feminine. They may not have said anything to the feminine about this, you know? Um, to the karmic about the feminine, you know? Hiding at the moon. Yeah, exactly. So they probably hid the feminine and all this has come out. It's caused a lot of pain. They feel really bad. There's a lot of guilt that's holding them there. Um... The karmic is going through a very difficult time. They know that they were wearing a mask. All right. What is this uh, divine mask going towards the karmic energy? Well, look at this. They know that it was mirroring their wounds. They know that they stabbed it in the back. And they know that the, there's no second chances with this karmic. That came out again, okay? That also came up with divine feminine energy. So they have a little bit of a guilty con a guilty conscience but that's okay that's what they they know that they have to work through in order to um level up into emperor you know so let's take a look a little bit deeper here rage and cheating so this 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 <laughs> this uh karmic is very angry let's clarify the rage and cheating it isn't time yeah eight of pentacles working hard this karmic worked really hard on this connection really angry about their investment Knight of Pentacles and Three of Wands in reverse. So not waiting anymore and slowly moving off. You know what I'm getting with karma, with this karmic? That this karmic energy is reaping the karma that they bestowed upon the masculine in other situations. And I don't know what that means. But whatever happened uh, between masculine and their feminine energy or between other relationships, this karmic energy was doing the same type of manipulation that they feel now that it that the masculine has done to them because they've worked, they invested, 
and they feel that uh, they can't wait anymore, that they've, they've been cheated on. They're having massive rage because this is the actual energy they've been living in. King of Wands with the judgment in reverse, they're having a lot of doubts here. Um, <laughs> the masculine's having a little bit of um, doubts here about this karmic. I feel like ever uh, coming to peace with it because I feel like this she's just this karmic is just too dramatic. I feel that they want they're doubting that there's going to be peace. Yeah, the six of cups. It's too dramatic. The past is too dramatic. And so, what is the what is the masculine doing with this karmic? <laughs> Nine of pentacles in reverse. They know that it's codependent. Okay, they know that it's codependent. A codependent relationship three of cups in reverse they're ending third party it's not even third party it's like they're ending any kind of events and friendships of codependency for a brand new relationship so they are completely aware of this okay they're coming out of their healing four of cups in reverse and four of swords in reverse this foundation is falling down so yeah let's clarify let's get one of these what is this masculine's outcomes they're not talking to this um, karmic energy. I don't feel the karmic energy is talking to them. They're feeling completely betrayed. It's almost like such a fake face. I can't even. Don't you love those drama queens? Trust me, I used to date women all the time. It's like, seriously, this is how you're going to act now? Like, I can't. What is this? Um, masculine towards the karmic. Whoa, way too many. What is this masculine energy in the outcome, please, towards the karmic? Yeah, you know what? They've been, they have been this stability, whoops, the palm tree, for this for this karmic energy we have one that flipped here just give me a sec see if i can find it yeah they're healing oh that was down here um they've been the stability and the presence that was giving everything to this karmic energy so they feel bad that they pulled it out they they gave them paradise but they're moving towards paradise oops yeah they gave them paradise uh relationship evolving to the next day healing the inner child they're healing the inner child they're moving towards paradise and they gave them this stability um they also were soulmates okay so and there is a love call so there is like they're trying to fix it okay <sighs> and how is this karmic towards the mask and like they're trying to fix it i feel like these masculines are trying to fix it but i feel it's almost a lost cause is what i'm getting yeah, these karmics are trying to chase chase them with their unconditional love and say, no, please come back. But this masculine is what I'm seeing is, is standing very strong, knowing that's a snake. He's definitely put an end to it. But trying to be that, you know, you know, you know when you end it, you know, because, you know, once you walk away, that's pretty much it, you know. Um, and I feel this masculine is really trying to keep it together. All right. Um, to keep it. I don't know this energy feels very heavy duty so I almost feel like they want they need to keep it together in order to bring this uh, divine feminine into their life so all right we're gonna see now the divine feminine energy and what is going on with the divine feminine towards the masculine Ooh. sorry guys trying to like do my best to clear this all up I'm not going to use these little ones to clarify. I'm going to use the light sears deck. But we are going to use the other one. So just give me a sec. All right. So we're going to see Divine Feminine Energies. And that will be the energy update, you guys. <coughs> going on with divine feminine energy towards the masculine Holy spirit what messages do divine feminine need to hear what is going on with divine feminine energy towards the collective towards the masculine energy please what is going on with divine feminine energy towards the masculine energy what is going on with divine feminine thank you Phew take a look at the bottom what's going on with divine feminine it's worth it you guys it's worth it this love is worth it some of you could be between two lovers or you could also feel that the masculine is this i'm not sure how you feel about me 
divine feminine marrying the masculine <laughs> okay also thinking that okay they may be thinking towards the karmic but they it's a worry of what people think of you right so it's the same issue with the divine feminine i'm working on my inner issues and i'm following my heart look at this so beautiful you are my shining star there is abundance here um there are dramatic changes in my life the karmic wheel ending things but this is like beautiful the majority that came out here all right let's take a look what is going on with divine feminine in the mind space towards divine masculine please what is going on with divine feminine towards the divine masculine thank you life partners she's like i know what we are we're life partners this is like two innocent children the innocence of spirit you know you need to do inner child healing to get back to this purity and that's what twin flames are about is the purity of god bringing the two the innocence of this purity of this love back together once they've done this healing we've got two little rabbits here new beginnings walking down that path together it's really beautiful what about the heart space divine feminine towards the divine masculine <laughs> came out again you guys i'm working on my inner issues these feminines are working on their stuff they're healing they're opening this gateway into abundance the divine feminine's actions towards divine masculine using the intuition to balance look at this divine feminines honoring what she's seeing honoring that she's living from the energy first knowing that she's honoring herself that she's not um falling into the 3d concepts of what's happening in the world in the 3d world okay we have a high priestess on the bottom as well using her intuition like a real feminine like a real feminine okay we're gonna take the three that came out divine feminine look at this union I'm holding it down for union, okay? These divine feminines know what's going on. They feel their masculine shifting, all right? They are completely in illumination, all right? And I love you. I love you. I love you. Beautiful, wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Let's see what else is going on with divine feminines towards the mask. These feminines are really holding their ground. Beautiful divine feminines. Love seeing that. I absolutely do. I think this is very sweet. I love you. Let's put that like this so you can see it better. Union, illumination, and I love you. Beautiful. What is going on with divine feminines towards the masculine piece? What is going on with divine feminines towards the masculine? Thank you. We're going to take a look at the bottom as well. What's going on with divine feminines towards the masculine? Look at this. Divine feminine showing up as the real empress. Ha, 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 ho. Thank you. Look at this. Holding the bunny. Not being dramatic and turning the bunny away. Saying, come bunny. Come be with me. Look at this. She knows she's in a hang place. Spirit is actually doing this, okay? To bring the twins together. Knowing that she's feeling her emperor. Look at this. He is in his power. She feels his power. Look at this. They know that there is a hang to place right now. That's okay. That's again more enlightenment. These are all upright. These are all positive light cards. This masculine's in his power. This feminine's in her power. They know that it hasn't quite happened. Nothing has happened yet. They're still gaining certain enlightenment. Beautiful. Let's take a look. Divine Feminine knows in the mind that this is her life partner. Such a beautiful read, you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. Things are definitely moving. We have the magician in the upright. Look at that can't make that up right distorted in in with the karmic energies right not knowing where the tools are look at this divine feminine you've got your you've got this lit up the wand is silver and gold that is alchemy right not burning on both ends okay the cup is upright the pentacle is laid flat the sword is there the everything is organized the energy is beautiful manifesting the life partners what is going on with the heart space with divine feminine towards the masculine i'm working on my inner issues baby i'm working on it i'm pulling up the portal i'm opening up the door look at this the hanged one i know that things aren't moving that's okay i'm gaining massive amounts of enlightenment of what the path is supposed to be like as you do your work and that's what divine feminines do you're not waiting you're just gaining more enlightenment and going towards your mission right Divine Feminine towards the masculine, using her intuition to balance. This is so bright and beautiful. Divine Feminine, oh my God, you are holding it for your masculines. Look at this. The two kids. Look at this, two different decks. Look at this. The light, the sun. 
the <laughs> riding the horse. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, we are like the happiest card in the deck. Beautiful. Enlightenment, um, abundance, uh, following the joy and the bliss. This that is so beautiful. I can't even, you guys. That is really beautiful. All upright, union, illumination, and I love you, divine feminine. <laughs> the magician in reverse. So look. You can't manipulate the energy, Divine Feminine. Here you are, you know your life partners, okay? But this is also the Magician in Reverse. So try not pushing the outcome, right? Feminines, I know like this is something that you want, but it's also the complete surrender piece. I'm going to grab one more. That we cannot, we, we have to stay in this place, right? Of manifesting and stay in the hangman position of gaining enlightenment. Keep moving forward towards our happiness and not trying to do this for... Okay, the moon, using your intuition to know where you come into a manipulation place that's distorted feminine. So this could be the little bit of work that's also the feminines are doing, the masculines are dealing with, because the masculines are still learning how to close off cycles and deal with their abandonment issues and to move away fully from karmic energies and divine feminine. What happens with divine feminine energies when they um, are distorted, they try to manipulate subconsciously too, because if I do A, B, and C, maybe they'll end up to D. And so doing all of this is beautiful, but also knowing that you can't manipulate, you have to move through with the intuition and you have to work it that way. Okay. So I feel like that is still the little piece that's still happening here for divine feminines. Okay. Um, let's take a look at some of the emotional aspects for the divine feminine and what's going on with divine feminine towards the masculine and what she's also healing emotionally. These are the wounded warriors deck for me for by me for love making sure that is still going oh my god are we up to an hour already i can't even i can't even <laughs> the readings always go so quickly all right what is going on with divine feminine towards the masculine please so they know that you know we're life partners here and she's they're manifesting in the mind holding that vision okay manipulative people okay so this is what i was saying divine feminines you're in a good space i'm not saying you're not in a good space but you cannot manipulate the energy that's what came up here you can't do this work just to get into union you have to surrender the union to god as well okay so this is definitely um something for divine feminines that because you'll only get so far with that with that energy okay you can't manipulate any of the energy. You have to surrender it to spirit completely. And you have to be okay to live a life without ever coming into union with, with your twin. And that I understand that's a hard concept to understand and to work through. Because it's like you're meant to be and this is how it's supposed to be. But it's also on God's timing. And this life goes into you becoming back in the next life. We don't know. Right. And so there are so many possibilities of manifestation that are happening that you have to be OK with every single possibility. And there's so many. So you have to be OK with every single possibility to be able to come into full abundance. That could be union. That may not be union, but you have to be OK with that divine feminine. OK, so that spirit is saying do not manipulate the energy here for this life partner is trying to manifest for this. OK, it has to be a complete surrender. This is also like. Working on your inner issues and gaining enlightenment is not just for union. It's for yourself, okay? We have here pathological liar. So we have to get very honest with what we're saying in our truths, okay, divine feminines? We have to be honest with why we're doing things and how we're doing things. Like, for instance, my mission, a lot of people would think that I'm doing this to come into union with my twin. Not at all. Whatever the activation was with my twin... I realize how hard this path is and people need this guidance and this help. That is my only reason for it. I've completely surrendered him to spirit. And we have to be so dead honest with ourselves. Okay. So I feel a lot of these feminines are moving in that direction for sure. But there's still a little something that we can't do it for this reason of union. Okay. The action for divine feminines, balance, intuition, and the sun, moving towards your happiness, which is beautiful, okay? We have sloth and mental illness. So wherever you're not moving, where there's still depressive states, 
um, Spirit is saying try to balance that out. Could be anxiety, can be depression, can be addictions. It doesn't have to be an actual mental illness. I honestly don't believe people that are mentally ill are actually mentally ill. I believe that they're super psychic and they just have no idea how to handle those mental issues because it's a coping mechanism to be able to live in this type of world. So do I believe it's a mental illness? No, I don't believe it's a mental illness, but that's sloth. So it's slow moving. It's really trying to balance out these energies. The spirit is bringing up for divine feminine. Get very more honest with yourself of why you're doing this work, okay? Is it, if it's coming up because I want this, we have to reevaluate ourselves, okay? What about this union, I love you, and illumination? And man, trying to manipulate the energy, though. This is the distorted magician card. Stoic upbringing and emotional unavailable parent. So the stoic upbringing, I'm not even entirely sure it's stoic upbringing. Like, who has a stoic upbringing? But it's almost like Spirit is saying some of you may not have had it as difficult as the Divine Masculine or there could be something in your upbringing that you thought was stoic but it's actually not that your parents were actually unavailable. There's something to do, dig deeper in order to, thank you, Spirit is bringing up the pattern of behavior is if I am like this and a stoic, you know when a kid is like if I am like this and if I act this way, that is a stoic well, yes, you did a good job. Um, it's a way to emotionally avoid, which is what your parents probably did, or there's something in the conditioning in your lineage that is keeping you avoidant in um, being actually very authentic of why you're doing what you're doing. So there's something about a pattern that's there to surrender even deeper here for the Divine Feminine, okay? Let's get into your tarot. So yeah, I feel you're on the right track, Divine Feminine, but the reason why the masculine too is still at that place of not quite closing out, because you both play in tangent with each other, um, is to get deeper in your authenticity. So masculines need to get deeper in their authenticity of why they're still playing in trying to give love to a karmic situation, whereas Divine Feminines are trying to manifest a union, but why, why are you doing it? It's like, I'm doing this your focus can't be to manifest your twin your focus is to be in mission and to serve god so that's the main point it's not to come into a love partnership with the twin i know that's a hard one you guys okay um it is a complete surrender to allow spirit to come in to do its job right so let's take a look a little bit deeper for divine feminine please you guys are very close like the, i'm seeing union energies for sure but this is little piece that's left you know, we're only human. You know what I mean? We all do it. We all do it. Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. Look at this. King of Wands wanting to come towards. Look at this. Peacefully ending karmic situations. Look at this. Communicating the truth of the burdens where things have failed and untrapping himself. Look at this. Where he's been closed off. Wanting to not fight anymore and be honest. Having a lot of regret. Not juggling this anymore, okay? So this masculine is wanting to come forward, Spirit is saying. So this little piece of whatever Divine Feminine is doing is to surrender the connection even further to Spirit, okay? Let's clarify a little bit deeper. This masculine is ready. I'm feeling there might be something here in this energy to get the two magicians. Listen, feminine energies have been conditioned this way. They are so manipulative. Women are, women are so manipulative and gossipy. I can't even, okay? And it's such a deep conditioning that you may not even be realizing that you're doing this, okay? That you're trying to do it for the union and because it feels good or right. But Spirit is like, can we please, let's get a little bit more honest. There has to be more of a release that's happening here, okay? That what you're doing is stoic. Spirit is like, it's not stoic. Um, it needs to be looked at even deeper. So a little bit of deeper work. Let's take a look here. What is going on divine feminine towards the masculine please life partners and manipulative people three of wands waiting waiting for your ships to come spirit's like i don't want you to wait no waiting okay planning and waiting spirit so what is spirit saying about this waiting energy yeah it's leaving divine feminine a little unstable here okay we have see look at this unfinished business the cycles can't close Okay, we have unstable divine feminine energy in her foundation, not ending um, 
unfinished business here and four of wands in reverse okay foundations needing to come down um not being able to cross the finish line you're very close divine feminines but there's something about trying to manipulate the energy and i don't want to say manipulate it's like manifesting for reasons for an, uh, an actual outcome when you don't know the outcome and to be okay not knowing the outcome that's the issue so we're spirit is saying things are hung right now because of not being authentic with self divine feminine i'm working and so you're already working on these issues you're already completely aware of it okay things aren't moving because spirit wants you to get more courageous the emotions are a little bit all over the place okay um to, and and still stuck and not moving forward uh in this energy you're really being hung to take a look at this so i feel that it has to come up yeah for your wishes to come true for your desires to happen this needs to be looked at in the heart space okay where you're not being fully authentic in the heart space okay we're using intuition and balance yes spirit is like but we need to go deeper within to see to gain more illumination in the sun okay to gain more it's happy it's bright it's amazing this is what you desire yes but we need to go deeper in the hermit to gain more of an understanding of what is happening with our intuition with our balance with any mental issue and i don't want to say mental issues it's not mental issues it's like coping mechanisms that we've had of where we're not moving in our life with the sloth energy and what we need to focus on and what we need to really work hard at okay because we have some manipulative uh, magician energy here with intuition wanting to bring in union okay and illumination and i love you um not learning the lessons here okay a beginning cannot start until you learn these lessons look at this it's keeping masculine away okay getting very honest with self so this is next level divine feminine okay really great strong messages for you of getting more honest more authentic so that this can come into a brand new beginning okay masculine energy is doing the same thing they're still going to karmic energies and that soul needs to heal so remember masculines feel through the feminine and feminines can also feel the masculines but they are the action masculines act out the energies that the feminine brings through so if you need more of those teachings take a look at the playlist guys the channel teachings um there's a lot there about masculine feminine energy and how they play together so let's let's clarify a little bit deeper and then we're going to do some star seed healing messages for both divine masculine and divine feminine so yeah so i feel like it's really on the brink of coming together you guys it's just like some fine tuning that's happening here okay um to make sure that we are releasing and that we are following mission and that we are following spirit and that we are completely allowing the breathing room to happen and that we're not doing this for a particular outcome okay remember it's not a particular outcome i know that's a hard one it's a hard one all right what is going on can i have four cards please divine feminine towards the masculine in the uh heart space please in the head space please head space yeah it's either you're ascending feminines are ascending so it's beautiful they're transcending different obstacles but this is another little piece that's coming up as you're ascending to so nip it in the butt now oh one fell and i put the lighting in my room oh there we go in the heart space look take a chance risk okay not showing your hand so take a risk into the unknown if that means you need to surrender if that means that you know what would that mean if you're never with your twin in this life and I don't like saying that, but I know people don't like hearing that, but I have to say it because it's like, there are so many possibilities that we have to be okay with our path, with how spirit is leading us, no matter what is given to us. Okay. And that can be a life without your twin. If it's not ready in this, in this lifetime, if it is, it will happen. Nothing that's meant for you in this lifetime will be kept from you. So spirit is like, take a chance, take a risk. What does this take a chance, take a risk. Look at this, the butterfly. Okay transform relationship evolving to the next level healing the inner child this is healing that being very authentic with self okay to transform okay in the action with this mental illness it's not mental illness i don't like saying that but it's you know working very hard on yourself here okay with unconditional love meeting conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted and friendship going out with friends doing your self-care loving yourself unconditionally okay becoming illuminated as you're in the hermit mode looking at where you're not actioning certain things 
if you are dealing with like depression or like anxiety, take a look at like those energies of coping, of healing the inner child, because they're just coping mechanisms that that hide the deep a wounding of the inner child, okay? And the outcome here is fair the saying, kind of look at like behaviors of like is this stoic is this good is this bad spirit is like be yourself and surrender okay um this energy here yeah look watching looking stalking. no stalking on facebook okay guys focusing out do um it's about getting more serious okay this is um your focus getting really focused now this uh, divine feminines are getting very focused on their calling um what they need to be doing on themselves where they need to be healing there is always something to heal guys okay um the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist one side of say side of relationship of love bombing okay this is part of chaser energy this is i'm not saying you're a narcissist but what i'm saying is like um, so absorbed in this connection or whatever else is coming through spirit is like please surrender it please surrender it a little bit more okay divine feminines yeah many options decisions stringing along okay so there's many options still to look at you may not want that there could be a soulmate for some of you again remember this is a general read um, but you are ascending divine feminines you are moving through things but spirit is like the focus needs to change a little bit more okay all right, let's do some healing starseed messages for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And that will be the reading. Beautiful. Beautiful read, you guys. Beautiful energy update, too. Things are definitely moving along. All right. Remember, it takes... This Twin Flame journey is a process. It is definitely a process, okay? So let's get some healing messages for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Thank you. Spirit wants me to do these too. So let's see some healing messages for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Thank you. What are some healing messages for Divine Masculine, please? Masculines are going through massive change in loneliness right now, okay? But they're having success with this, okay? Really beautiful. And Divine Feminine Energies, we'll put Divine Feminine right on the bottom here. And Divine Feminine Energies, please, can I have three? Yeah, focusing on happiness, perseverance, there we go, look at this. Okay, happiness, Divine Feminines, a lot of happiness here, persevering. This is, look how you're mirroring. The masculines are feeling the change, right? Masculine's feeling the change. Um, they're lonely. You know that this is going to start off as friendship. You going out with friends. You have the coffee cup. Go out with friends. Be with, you know, be with like-minded people. Um, enjoy your life right now, right? It will help the masculine as well. And same with the masculine, the loneliness and what you're feeling and maybe in the sloth energy is also, you know, for you to gain more of the friendship energy and what's happening for you there. So let's take a look. So there's a lot happening here. But beautiful energies that are coming through, though, okay, in the connection. So it's just, just a little housekeeping that was there about, you know, what else the feminines could do. But that's okay. You know that we don't criticize each other. We just, we know divine, we know divine feminine energies when divine feminine energy comes, right? Masculine's gaining wisdom. What is he doing with this change spirit? He's having the courage to change. Thank you. And what is his loneliness? He's observing his loneliness. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. So they're really in a place of observing while they're alone. So they're not with their karmic. Things have ended. They're they're trying to, you know, they haven't quite fully. It's like they're just right. Like they're still trying to be that nice person. But they're observing everything and having the courage to do these changes. And they're gaining a lot of wisdom. What about Divine Feminine, please, Spirit? What about Divine Feminine with the happiness? Uh -huh. Perseverance and friend. Wow, we've got two for the end. Look at this. Magnificence. You are amazing, magnificent, and unique, and most importantly, you are enough. Knowing that, Divine Feminines, you are magnificent and happy and beautiful. Look at this ascension. You are persevering for that ascension. Look at that. You are creating the change in the masculine's life to have courage as you ascend. The more you pers persevere, 
the more the masculine feels. The more courage he has, the more you ascend. It's such a beautiful thing. Look at this friendship with the your earth guide. Your sacred calling upon this earth is to simply love and be loved. And look at this freedom. Allow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. This is friendship. Being friends with yourself. Being kind to yourself. Beautiful energies, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Love to hear your comments on this and how this is resonating for you. And we will see you guys soon. So much love. Check out all my other videos. Bye, guys.